This particular video describes pruning and canopy management. It looks into why, when, and how to carry out pruning in oil palm agronomy as a best management practice. Pruning and canopy management. Palm front and the engine of growth and production. A properly pruned mature palm carries 30 to 60 fronts, depending on palm age. Fronts intercept light and convert light energy, nutrients and water into carbohydrate, which in turn is used to produce oil. Yield is reduced when there are too few or too many fronts on the palm. Problems with pruning oil palms in West Africa. Most oil palm farmers in West Africa do not carry out proper leaf canopy management in their oil palm farms. Farmers often remove bunches without removing front, which are left to dry out on the palm. After a few months, it becomes very difficult to harvest bunches, which are hidden behind old fronts. As a result, many bunches are lost because the harvester cannot see them. In addition, palm productivity is reduced because the palm carries too many fronts and as a result, nutrients contained in maribund fronts are not returned to the soil. Some farmers misunderstand the reason for pruning. The tendency is to think that pruning damages the palm and reduces yield. Other farmers think pruning means removing as many fronts as possible to give the palm exposure to sunlight. Why do we need to prune oil palms? Proper pruning is required to remove surplus fronts, remove dead, damaged, diseased or old fronts, provide access to ripe bunches at harvesting, prevent loose fruits becoming trapped behind front bats, and provide a palm with the correct number of fronts to maximize yield. Personal Protective Equipment the pruner must wear personal protective equipment before pruning. A Wellington boot, hand gloves and goggles are essential. Tools, equipment and materials. Workers must be equipped with the following tools. A harvesting chisel with a 10 cm wide cutting edge and a 2 meter shaft for palms less than 3 meter in height. A Malayan knife or harvesting sickle attached to an aluminium pole for tall palms. A sharpening stone and a cutlass. Three pruning methods. We will now describe three pruning methods. Pruning young palms before harvest. Only maribund fronts are removed from the base of the palm to provide access for the harvester. No green. How the front should be removed. Corrective or rehabilitation pruning. This is required where palms have not been pruned for more than one year. It may be necessary to remove a large number of dead and maribund fronts from the palm. As a result, this is a labor intensive operation requiring two to four month days per hectare. Corrective or rehabilitation pruning should be carried out before the main production season usually from November to January, so that the farmer achieves a rapid return on the investment in pruning. Once rehabilitation pruning has been completed, all bunches can be harvested, and harvesting is much easier and less costly. All pruned front must be cut into two at a point where tones change to leaflets. The tawny front base is placed in the palm interrow 
and the leafy part is placed with the leaf tip facing the path and in between palms within the palm row to create a three-sided box path in front stack. Maintenance or routine pruning is carried out on well-maintained palms every six months. Only a few fronts need to be removed at routine pruning. Maintenance or routine pruning is best carried out two times each year. One cycle in December or January, that is before the peak crop season, and one cycle in June to August. That is at the end of the main crop season. Pruning standards. Young palms produce smaller fronts, but more frequently with two to three fronts per month. Older palms produce larger fronts, but less frequently with one to two new fronts per month. Therefore, more fronts are retained on young mature palms compared with old mature palms. Do not remove healthy green fronds from palms aged 3 to 4 years after planting. Remove only dead and damaged fronds. Bunches should be harvested without cutting the front beneath the bunch during the first harvesting year, termed bunch stealing. At age of 5 to 7 years after planting, it is best to retain 48 to 56 fronds, that is 6 to 7 front ranks. As a rule, there should be two healthy green fronts retained beneath each bunch until bunch harvest. At age of 8 to 15 years after planting, retain about 40 to 48 fronts, that is 5 to 6 front ranks. As a rule, there should be one healthy green front retained beneath each bunch until bunch harvest. At age above 15 years after planting, Retain about 40 fronts, that is 5 ranks. Again, as a rule, there should be one healthy green front retained beneath each bunch until bunch harvest. Important point to remember, pruning should be carried out with very sharp tools. The recommended tools are chisel, 8 to 10 cm blade, fitted into a 2 meter long galvanized pipe or wooden pole. Sickles should be fitted into an aluminum or bamboo pole. A cutlass is required to cut front into two pieces after pruning. Old, dead front and debris should be raked out from around the base of the palm after pruning and before starting harvest. In conclusion, proper pruning is a basic requirement to ensure complete crop recovery and easy and low-cost harvesting.